since 1968, PWD Bermuda Football Club established itself as a pain in the neck of the legendary and famous Canon Football Club of Yaoundé, always defeating them in very crucial and determining matches in the National Division I Championship or the Cup of Cameroon. A memorable situation was recorded in the qualifying rounds of the 1979 Cup of Cameroon competition. But on top of it all, during the 1990-91 football season, Canon fell seriously at the behest of a PWD Bermenda full of young stars. Bonin Kemayang, McDonald Ndefi, Defi Pius, Takang, and a host of them. Boni Kemaya relieves the situation of their dominance over Canon during the 1990-91 football season. When you, you know, went to Bermuda after you had signed and they had given you your monies, which were some of these great matches you played, because we heard your match against Canon, your match against Toner, your match against Diamant. Can we have a picture again? of these matches that you played beginning with Canon? Uh, the Canon game was one of the most memorable games that I will never forget. I will never forget personally in my career because they had just returned from when the World Cup had just finished, 1990 World Cup, and they came back. Um, Jiang Manga was part of that squad. I think he was the assistant coach of that World Cup. And when he came back to Cameroon, he was the first coach. He, they made him the uh, uh, Canon Yawundi. They had all the likes of Ndi Pakem, Onana Jews, Eidi, Fiala, he came out, the right back. And we just said, well, we'll just go and try. Those guys, they were our heroes as well. They, just, they were just coming from World Cup. After they beat Argentina, about six of those players in, the, in that sport, they were coming from World Cup. So while at upstation in Bamenda, we were, our coach was the brave for us to go jump and go down to Bamenda, to the stadium. Usually our fans would come up to the stadium and guide and cheer us, encourage us, run behind the bus up to the stadium. But some strange thing happened that day. Uh, we left the station without any single fan. Our fans, they, they've all abandoned us. They went to Ayaba where Kanon was uh, staying. They wanted to see all, all these great players from World Cup that they've beaten um, De Almighty Diego Maradona in World Cup, they beat Argentina. They want to go and see them. So they abandoned us. We're all left on our own. We drove from Amanda station to the stadium without any fan. When we got to the stadium, our fan. They started supporting Kanon Yawunde, screaming, <laughs> shouting, because they were seeing the stars that they just saw on TV. And we just stood there, we were surprised. What was going on? And that was Kanon coming to the field with their usual red, red. You could see Deepa came coming, they were already sweating on their shoes. They're coming as, appearing like, as if they were tigers, just coming to swallow us, swallow us. <laughs> then I would talk by us, we look at ourselves, and say, are these the guys that we're going to play against? And we were. Uh, to be to be honest with you, Panjumo, we also we were also admiring them. We were also admiring them. We were <laughs> humans, eh? Just coming back from the 90 World Cup, and then we were freeze. We just did nothing to our coach himself. There was not nobody was talking to anybody. Just watch Canon walk. This is your moment. You are playing against Canon Yawundi. I hope you guys will go in there and shine. Make your name. Yeah, exactly three o'clock. We will be sounded the whistle. We started. We started the game. We started playing. We realized straight away that Canon. They came with their game plan to press us high up the pitch. Their number five and number four in deep and Onana, they push right up as if they were number six and number eight. The rest of the players, they were all in our camp to force us to stay back. They will pass ball, will run and run and run. We will not be able to intercept every, any single pass. Then there was this moment, just this moment, as God does his things. I just said to Pius, look at the way those guys are climbing. Just fit yourself in between. Stand, just always stand with, with the last defender. Anytime the ball comes to me, I will try and drop the ball between you, drop the ball between the last defender and goalkeeper. I will just drop that ball there because I know you are fast. You are, you are really fast. You will run more than that, that guy. And can press. I always call him can press. Just say yes. As this, we'll, 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 we'll try that and see. But before we know, they just gave me ball. As I dropped that ball, before deep turn, Pius was already in front of his goalkeeper and just pushed the ball at the side. One, one zero. It took 15 minutes of football time to celebrate that goal. In <laughs> Everybody was in pitch that was spoken now. It took to drive to send people away. It took about 15 minutes, about 15 minutes to send people away. That will score one goal. We, we knew that, okay, at least we'll score goal, and that's fine by us. We never knew that it was going to be our day. 
We played and played. They press up, they score. It was one all. We said, okay, that was it. Half time. We went out for half time. Came back in. Started second half. They started their press up again. Similar thing occur. Pius again ran, score number two. Two one. We know we've, there was like wounded lions then. Those boys will pass, they will make about 20 passes, we will not touch the ball. And we could just stood there and say to us, just stay there. Let them pass the ball 500 times within themselves, but they should not play the trick. They will pass and pass when they try with block. Before they knew, as they press up, as the match was building up, all of them, they keep pressing up. They get ball to Trezor, one of our defenders, the last defender. He just break the ball and throw that long ball up. Before in deep turn, we only saw him deep struggling to catch up with Pius. Pius, Pius was so fast. Struggling to catch up with Pius before you, Pius called by three. That was three one. But Menda was shut down. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't think we actually played that game up to forty five, up to thirty five minutes. Just the celebration, the celebration itself for that third goal. That's what we believe that we could, we could, we could actually go home with this three point. Even our president, everybody was inside the pitch for that third goal. When we, when we managed to score the third goal, the whole before police. The gendarmes, they managed to push people out of the field. Canon was confused. They were angry. You could see they're very angry. I think they've never seen that kind of jubilation before. They pushed everybody out of the field. Then we knew now that we are not playing anymore. When we get the ball, we just kick it out, kick it anyway, just to buy it. And before we know, the referee sounded the whistle. End of, of game. We were all in the air. They carried us, the crowd carried us in the air as if we just won the World Cup. And that was us beating Canon. Yeah, we did. <laughs> how, did, how did all these great players who just came from the World Cup, it was the on, game. On, Onana, Ndib, and so on, how did they react to you after you had beaten them in, in, in that match? It was shocked to them. I knew that in, uh, in Deep Atom, because he used to play for Kamakumba before, and I used to go and stand by the feet and watch him play. I used to admire him the way he play number five position. I, then, when he left Kuba, I never saw him again. He did not know me then. But after the game, when he came to me and greeted me, he knew, and then Onana Juice came, he greeted him. Um, Onana Juice was the person that was talking. He spoke in French. He said, um, are you Nigerian? Uh, he said, who said Nigerian? I said, no. Then Deep said, no. He said, Deep said, the way I'm talking, I'm not from Nigeria. I said, I said no, I'm from, from Nigeria. I said, I'm not, I'm not Nigerian, I'm Cameroonian. He said, you're playing all this football and you're Cameroonian, and you're in Bamenda. I said, yes, of course. Wow. They were so, and they, they hugged us, greeted us. Young Manga came. With that, you know, I like that they, 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 they took the defeat with that sportsmanship. They came, greeted us, and the only thing they said to us, they said, well, we're waiting for you guys in Yawundi. Il y avait un match où Canon est sorti à soit au cas de finale ou demi-finale avec PW de débat maintenant. C'était comment, monsieur Moun? Un match de feu. Un match de feu. C'est justement euh, le feu à quoi qui était même à l'origine parce qu'on menait, on menait ce match. Il a, il a, il a comme euh, quoi, il est allé demander la godasse. Il a payé une, payé une godasse pour moi. Il n'était même pas sa pointure. Mais je vous dis qu'il n'était pas sa pointure. C'était en 79 Je crois. Oui, la, la Coupe du Cameroun. Oui, la Coupe du Cameroun. C'était pas ça, pointu. On lui a dit, ne joue pas avec ça. Il a dit, il a dit qu'il joue avec. On lui a dit que tu ne joues pas avec ça. Il avait, comme avant, Santé, comment il appelait Go Franklin, Il y avait mon Koubé, il y avait Go Franklin, il y avait le gars qui était gardien là, par exemple, qui joue. Maranga, 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 Maranga. Voilà. On lui dit, ne joue pas avec, il s'est mis à jouer avec. Il lui dit qu'il a, il a, on menait un zéro. Il a un cône à un bal de 5 mètres. Il est venu frapper, il a choqué le sol là-bas, il n'a même pas fait ça. Le Maranga a pris. C'est comme ça que Maranga égalise. Il égalise. Et là, il le commande à la presse. Puis d'abord, il a commencé à marcher sur nous. Il a marché sur nous. Non, c'est vrai, c'est celui-là, il a marché sur nous. Et comme il était supporté à Douala. Voilà. Ah oui. Il a eu nous envoyé. Et après le match, Canon se voit éliminé pour ne pas jouer la finale de la Coupe de Canon. On a été malade. Malade, c'était vraiment. C'était la mort. Pour nous, c'était la mort. C'est nous, même pas pour nous. C'était la mort. Que PW dit nous, je vous dis. Il 
Then the, the one the one with Tonel, you left from there and went and beat Tonel Yawunde. Yeah, we went to, uh, yeah, you know, at, at, at that time, when Pierre, um, Canon and Tonel, they were, I think they, are, they were enemies. When when Canon had that, uh, when Tonel had that with Canon, they celebrated in Yawunde. They celebrated in Yawunde because of beating Canon in Bameda. Tonel celebrated. We went to Bafu Sam to play Rasen on the Wednesday. We were supposed to play Bafu, we played Canon Sunday. We were supposed to play Rasen Bafu Sam on the Wednesday. Then play Tone on a Sunday. We left Bamenda on the Friday, move up to Yawunde to play Kano, uh, Tone. We went to Yawunde uh, and defeated Tone 3 0. We defeated Tone 3 0 inside Yawunde. You could see all the Kano, their fans, everybody they turned around and started supporting us. We beat Kano inside Yawunde 3 0. That is when people start realizing that they should not take us for <laughs> it wasn't a mistake. The Tone, the Kano game was not a mistake. These guys, they mean business. So after Kano, uh, we we'll beat Jamang as well, 2 1 in Yawunde with the likes of Kana Big and Mugoko Joseph. They were all there for, sorry, uh, Jamang Yawunde, yes. So we, 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 we took nine points from all Yawunde clubs that first round. That's when they took us seriously. That uh, Pius had left. Now let's come back. How did PW manage the situation? They had lost a great attacker. How did they mend the situation? And that, that, that's what I said. They tried to, be, they brought in, they brought in, um, Ashley James, he could not, he could not fit Spire's shoes. They brought Ayokta Kunchung to steal nothing. And in the end, we started losing games. Second round, we could not, we could not score goals. There was a, there was a point the coach even advised me to move a bit further to try and play number nine. I'm not that, I was not that fastest player in the world. He saw that there was no, he tried to push me forward. To, we did not have number nine. We were playing, but in the end, we, we, lose, we lost games. 1-0, 2-1. Yeah, and in the end, um, the political atmosphere was not that good in Bermuda Square. That's when John Fundy launched his party, SDF. And we were supposed to play our last game in Bermuda. We needed one point to stay up in first division. We were supposed to, we were playing against Colum, uh, Colum San Malima in Bermuda Stadium. We had not trained for two weeks because of state of emergency. And we had to play Colum, uh, Colum San Malima in Bermuda. We could not train. And the Bamenda um, executive they had to go to the deal to, go, to get to secure um, to secure uh, something like an uh, uh, authorization that would permit us to leave our houses to go for camping to play Colum Samalima. So you were inside your house, the boss came with a piece of paper, your ID card, you show your ID to confirm that I was you jump into the bus. That's how I went for camping to play Colum Samalima on the Sunday, last day of play this season. We needed one point to stay up. That's when we saw our friends, and I could see my friends after three weeks locked up in the house, state of emergency. You see your colleagues, no training. We met at up station. On Sunday, we went down to the stadium. We played that game without spectators. No spectator. Everywhere you go, military guard personnel. Columns and Malama players, they came behind military truck, guarding them. The stadium gate opened, they came in, they came down. We started the game. No, it was strange. I've, I've, I've never seen that before. We started the game. For some strange reason, Colum Samba must score us one goal, first half. If you put in all that game time, we did not play up to 30 minutes. And we did not play, we did not sweat, we did not play up to 30 minutes. When they got that first goal, they started kicking the ball out of the stadium. You know, usually when the ball goes out, it was the supporters, the people outside of the field that would throw the ball inside quickly. And they realized that there was nobody to throw the ball back into the pitch. They just simply kick, just when the ball, when the ball comes to them, they only the one zero. They just kick, kick the ball out of the field. And the military people will be there with their gun. They will not give the ball back to you. We will have to leave the pitch, run and go and bring the ball wherever that ball was, and come and continue to play. When the ball, when they get the ball off us, they kick the ball back outside. And before we know, the game came to an end. Columbus and Manama uh, defeated us 1-0 in Bermuda. And Peter Bermuda was relegated to Division 2.